Hey everyone, welcome to I Totally Love It. This is Susan. So in front of you, sitting here, is the top view of one of my desk organizers that I got recently. And I um I need to use some of it. <laughs> I've been making stuff, but it's time to use stuff. So I have that. Here, let me slide it over. I have this journal that I've been putting some things in, if you recall. Uh, and I've been journaling as I've been adding it in there. And I've kind of neglected it. It was kind of what I was doing for my 100-day project uh, for most of it. So I thought, well, it's time to let's go ahead and use some of these things. Um, the way it's organized right now is kind of what's on the left side are... Things that are made but not embellished, and on this side are things that are completed and just ready to use, pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to take out some things and journal, and uh, I think some of my prompts are going to be, you know, something related to how it's decorated. So, like that one that I made for uh, Sweet Bee Card Collab. That should be about sleeping or dreams. All right. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy some tunes. And at the end, I'll come back and share with you the things I'm going to add. We'll try to do uh, maybe three to four uh, additions to the journal in this video. And then we'll come back and do another one and add some more. Because I am behind on my days. Uh, March really kind of came and went, didn't it? <laughs> All right, everyone. So sit back, relax, enjoy some tunes, and let's get cracking.
All right, let's go over the ones I've added today. That was previously. All right, so this uh, book page pocket was one from the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I think it was like her first one, first or second one. Um, this one said, it's never too late to be what you might have been uh, by George Eliot. So I responded to that. And also when I glued this in, I made that top part a pocket so I can add something else later. And this one on the back side, I said, it's always the small pieces that make the big picture. And I just journaled about, um, you know, when you're making ephemera and it's all those little embellishments that bring it all together. And this one I glued on the side like that. So you can add something in there. All right, moving along. That's a previous one. Let's see. All right. So we had this sweet little boy sleeping. Um, so this was a um, just a collaged envelope that I made. Um, I think I made that for an earlier 100 day project. And um, so I was looking for an envelope or a pocket uh, for this card, but I don't want it to go all the way in because it you know, would get lost. And I thought, well, that would be cute there. And then you still have a little piece that you can take out. So this one, I just journaled about dreams. I've had some really interesting dreams in my life um, that I don't really care to share with the world. Uh, my husband knows about them, and that's about it. <laughs> um, and we'll just leave it at that. And then I have one more in the back here. Um, so this one was supposed to have been, you know, your favorite color when you created it. So I used red. And I journaled about red on the back. And this pocket I created in a Deal It Up challenge for uh, Belinda over at Visualize NZ's um, Deal It Up challenge. I said just say that twice. Um, so I thought that would work well with the red. <clears throat> All right. So I got four things added. Um, so that'll take care of four of my 100 days. Um, I need to figure out which days those are and get that in my title and um, come back and join me for more because I have still a lot of ephemera I need to get used uh, and journaled and put into my little journal books. Kind of also an idea book, you know, because you're using some of the things you you made uh, like that was from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Um, I haven't done some of her more current ones, but those pocket ones at the beginning, like this one was one. Um, so using up some of those um, ideas and actually, you know, journaling with them. All right. So I appreciate your time. Uh, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And to those who already have, thank you. And thank you for coming back. And until the next one, everyone. Bye bye.